I'm Laura from Garden Sanity, and seven weeks ago, we cut our dappled willow wall all the way down to the ground, a technique called coppicing. In today's video, I'm gonna give you an update of how these look seven weeks later. Let's get started. So back in mid-March, we cut our wall of dappled willow shrubs down all the way to the ground. You can watch my YouTube playlist called Dappled Willow to learn why we needed to do this as well as how we did it. The technique of cutting any shrub or tree all the way down to the ground in order to stimulate fresh new growth is called coppicing. And dappled willow is an easy shrub to do this with and sometimes necessary if your plants get out of hand like ours did. Again, check out the playlist for the entire background on this. Yes, coppicing seems like an extreme thing to do, but within three weeks, these stumps already had a ton of buds forming all over them. Now, here we are seven weeks later, and these look like low-growing pink shrubs. Aren't they pretty? This shrub, by the way, right here, is the very first dappled willow we ever planted. And again, you can see the previous videos to hear that whole story. But way deep inside here, you can see the very big trunk, the stump that's left. And that was, boy, that was early on. But that had to be pruned out. The pink color from a distance is amazing. I think it surprised even me. <laughs> I knew these would grow back, but this is really pretty. You can see though that what's happening with the new growth is the pink is already starting to turn into the variegated leaves. You see the cream and the green. And you see a couple solid green leaves too, but they're also seem to be turning a little bit variegated, which is good. Then I noticed there's this extreme pink guy down here. Almost looks like a flower. Over here, you have more the traditional what you'll see in the summer, which is the variegated color, although it'll be even a little bit more cream with the green. So I would say all in all, this is a wonderful success. This guy next to him, He's on the little bit more greener side here. I'll come over here so you can kind of see. So see you see the difference in the shrubs down that way. But yeah, this guy's more on the greener side. It's these stems jutting out from the bottom almost horizontally. These ones are the ones I'm gonna cut back. But I realized I don't need to do this right now. There's no rush. Let the stems grow a little bit more and then I can give them a nice haircut. In the meantime, I'm fascinated with how these stems are coming out color-wise. Like, look at these guys. A little more pink and white. And then you get more of the green in the middle. And just so you can see, let's step on the rocks here. It goes all the way to the back. Boy, is this color pretty. So this plant looks a lot smaller than the others because I did thin this out. You can actually see down here my attempt at doing so. And I say attempt because as I started doing it, I thought, you know, I think I'm being a little bit now overly cautious. You know, oh no, I don't want these shrubs to grow out of control. Well, <laughs> look how tiny they are. I don't think I have to worry about that just yet. So even though I did that to this one and I did it to this guy up here, right here, I did it to this a little bit too. So this one looks almost sculptural. And here is the newest dappled willow shrub. Again, I've shown you this in previous videos, but I wanted you to see how nice it's leafing out looks really good. Color is so pretty. 
you can also see it does get these little you see this better it gets these little catkins but you can barely see them they don't really do anything in fact they're probably all over the shrub and you just don't notice them the color is nice it's going to get more pink as the season goes on this is what a normal shrub would look like that pink color on the small little stubs <laughs> as i call them our little dappled willow stubs instead of shrubs that pink color down there that is way too early but i think that's because it's just growing like crazy and it probably doesn't even know what all it should be doing right now that's my uneducated guess <laughs> But this is more what a dappled willow shrub would look like this time of year. And it'll get more pink as we go along. And it looks good. So here is the wall that was once the wall of dappled willow. Now we have a hole here. And dappled willow cuttings that I'm propagating right now, those are going to end up going in there. And that is another video coming up. I'm propagating them both in water and in soil. So I will be showing you how to do both of those. And then we move on down the wall. And we've got the remaining five shrubs. Hard to believe it's been seven weeks already since we did the hard pruning. And this is what we're left with which is wonderful. I mean, look at this. Who would have thought that I would have pretty shrubs for the springtime? Not me. So of course I'll keep you posted as we go forward, but I wanted to give you this update. All is well in my dappled willow world. Happy gardening.